And what I would tell you right now is just live your life. Like, hey, look, I've been through it. I know what it is. I know the way. Follow me. So when you rock with me and this crew, I want to give you the tools to do the right shit and get across and go get it. Okay. So here's the deal. I got to, I'm going to give you kind of a, it's going to be about a 10 minute little data on how people operate and about limiting beliefs. Okay. Yeah. So you've heard me say this, but this is going to be a bit more in depth. And once I found, when I, once I learned about this, I would say in the last three and a half, four years, it changed my life. Okay. Okay. So the very first thing I want to talk to you about is how people move and how people operate. Right. So now that you're going into your development and you're, you know, you got, you have mentors, you're, you're consuming more data and information more than ever in your entire life. You start to hear people that are not like you. And those yeah. people think what limiting beliefs, right? Yeah. yeah. So you'll, you'll say, Hey, it's $2,000 to get started. I'm going to get you leads. I'm going to make this thing blow up. I'm going to grow your gym. It's going to be great. And they're like, Oh man, that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. So why is that a limited belief? Because the information I have is that $2,000 is not a lot of money. <clears throat> and it doesn't even matter if it's 2000 or 1000 or 200000 For me, yeah. there, there's no scarcity. I'm, yeah. I'm on the road, Dan, by the way. There, there's no limitation on money or success or, or fucking freedom or love or abundance or food yeah. or success, right? Yeah. So... The reason why people have these limiting beliefs is because of their environment, what they've been taught, what they've been, you know, how they were raised, their neighborhood, their parents, right? Yeah. Most of us did not, were not born rich, you know? So for me, for example, I grew up uh, with no money. My family had no money. You know, we, we lived on government assistance from the U S right. And my parents told me, you know, a thousand dollars is a lot of money. My parents told me that money doesn't grow on trees. My parents told me that being rich was not realistic. That's, that's all that was put on me. Right. Right. right? right. Go look at a two-year-old and put them in a toy store. What happens with the two-year-old if you put them in a toy store? Yeah. They're just going to go for the, they don't care. They just, they grab what they want. They just go. They don't give a shit. They don't care. I want that. I want that. I want that. I want that. I want the, to- how, so how do you go from a two year old that wants everything, a toy, they don't get the toy. They cry to a 24 year old or 34 year old, a 54 year old that says, you know, you can't have that. Like th- that's not realistic. Like I can't have the Mercedes. I can't have Louis Vuitton. I can't have the, the man or woman of my dreams. It's because they go through life they get the wrong information. They operate with that information and then they start to shrink. It's called succumb. Okay. Maybe they tried something, you know, they started, they wanted to start a business. It failed. So now they have, they have that information. Oh man, if I start a business, I'm going to fail. So let me just be realistic and go back to not my nine to five. Right, Does that make right. sense? Yeah. Yeah. They start to shrink. They start to quit. All right. So, when you're young and you're two years old, you don't really have these things pushing on you, suppressing you, you know, like pushing you into like zero. You just want to push out. You just want to be great. You just want what you want. And that's, and that's just pretty much it. Somewhere along the lines that changes. Okay. That really changes. And it, and it wow. does. I, I mean, successful people think without limitation and successful people think without – they think with absolute abundance. You can have it. You can do it, right? Yeah. Broke people think with limitation. There's only so much money. I'm not sure. What if it doesn't work? They think with counterintentions. You already know all this. Yeah, yeah. Okay? Yeah. So this is a long way of me telling you people operate like computers, and they operate with the information that they have, Okay. Right. When I personally first meet with people and I start mentoring them, I look to rip out their bullshit and I look to replace it with truth. Okay? 
Yeah, yeah. And that's that's what I look to do. And you'll start to hear people's levels of development based on some of their goals, some of their dreams. It's not all about money either. Okay, maybe you want to go feed four million people, a hundred million people. I mean, maybe you want to feed zero. So here's the next thing now. Okay, so right now you're following me. Right now you're following me. You know that data, right? You have that information. Okay. I know for a fact, since you met me, your goals have gotten bigger and the, your dreams have gotten bigger of what you want to accomplish. Is that true? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, definitely. Right. So, of course, and that's what happens when I meet and work with people. There's two things that you need to be successful, and that's your awareness and that's your skills. I won't really get into that. Right now, I'm trying to raise your awareness and whoever watches this, raise their awareness. So here's the deal now. All right. I met one of my old business partners, Nick Pena, about four years ago, after, after I bought him out three years ago. Is he related to Dan Pena? No, no, that's a good question, though. That's a great question. So he started running a sales department, and he started running the sales team with the guy who was doing a million dollars a month. This dude says... Mike, we're doing a million dollars a month, and uh, he's mentoring and coaching people, okay? But the people we're getting the information from, they're actually doing like tens of millions of dollars, way more than even us, okay? So when he – follow what I'm saying. When he does his demo, he says this to the, his prospects. He says, hey, listen, you know, I know you want to make six figures. I know you want to make seven figures. The truth is the information we have right now has got us to over a million dollars a month and the data and the information that we have are literally people on the internet that are making over $100 million annually. That's the information we have as source. That's the information we operate off of. And that's the information you're going to get when you work with us. But there is a, but you're not going to pay what we pay, you know, like to get this information. All right. We literally work with, some of the top people in the entire e-com and consulting space in the world, people that do over a hundred million. So that's the information we use and operate off of. And that's what you're going to get. Okay. And it's true. That's what Nick used to say. So okay. let me, I'm, I'm going to start wrapping this up this, in, a, in a package. So you have to, when you meet people in a, in a demo, when you do a webinar right now, you're doing demos. Mm -hmm. What you're looking to do is the same thing as me. You're looking to crush their limiting beliefs. You're looking to get them off their bullshit and you're looking to replace it with truth. Let me give you an example. Have you talked to anybody in the last six months, a prospect, someone that says, Hey, I want to make six figures. That's my dream to make six figures. Have you heard that at all? Yeah. A lot. They all fucking say that. They all want to say that. I want to make six figures, man. I want to make six figures. Okay. And then that same person, you're like, Hey man, it's $500 down to get started. Hey man, it's a thousand dollars to get to, down to get started. And then they shrink up They're like, Ooh, that's a lot of money. Is you ever, ever happen to you? Yeah. It happens a lot. They say they want to make 10 right. six figures. And then for them, an investment of a thousand five hundred is okay. too much. So can you still hear me? Yep. Yeah. I can hear right. you. Yep. It's okay. So here's, 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 Here's how, here's the information on that. You will never get to fucking six figures. If you're scared of a thousand dollars down, you will not do that. It won't happen. It is not possible. How the fuck could you get to six figures, a quarter million dollars? If you're scared of a thousand, it is, there's, there's no way what you're saying and what you're doing is two different things. And without going too deep on this, there's something called a law of law of exchange. The more you exchange out, the more you change, the more you attract in. But there's also idiots that buy stuff that's just not, you know, good, like drugs, like things that don't support your success. You have to be in alignment. But when you're in alignment and you're out there, you're exchanging, you're going to seminars, you're going to mentors, you're working on yourself, you're investing into your business, you're hiring the right staff. Right now, I'm buying a phone line that's $3,600. You know how much money that is for an average internet marketer or average small business? For me, yeah. I'm like, all I need is one fucking client this month. 
and that pays for it for the next six months. And yeah, then, yeah. Truth is, I'm gonna fucking get 50 clients, you know, from that one one little thing. So you have to be able to crush limiting beliefs. You have to be able to crush limiting beliefs. Right. Okay, so it would go like this. Um, so you'll never get to that. Okay, you 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 want to hang on to pennies and dollars that you don't have. Okay, you want let me save a thousand, let me save five hundred. And what you need to do is get their attention on producing and creating. That's the only reason they want to hang on to the small thing because they don't have their attention on producing. So that right there is a bar. If you can get that and wrap your head around that, it's going to fucking make yeah. life the $3,600 fucking cell phone because that's just going to make me a quarter million dollars in one month. Right, 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 right. So that's where I'm at with it. Could you tell me that okay. line you said? Uh, people are worried about. Yeah. Could you tell I'll me tell that right line? Now, line um, but, yeah. Yeah, yeah. About the about the friend, about the girlfriend. I'll tell you right now. Just hang tight. Yeah. Broke people, bro, are focused on fucking. How much does it cost? Successful people are focused on what's the opportunity, how much can I make, and who can I influence. First thing out of somebody's mouth that's broke. How much does it cost? First thing out of someone fucking who's high level, successful. Okay, multimillionaire. Not talking about one million. 10 million, 20 and beyond, 100 million and beyond, billionaire, okay? Those people are free. Their thing is, what's the opportunity? Who can I influence? Who can I affect? Who can I reach? How good does this enhance my brand? How much money can I make? What good could I do to mankind and the world? It's never how much does it cost. I got it on a demo yesterday. I recorded it. The guy's like, man, you didn't ask the price. I'm like, I'm not worried about the price, dude. Who the fuck can I help? How, how can I enhance my business to do more? I had a, uh, a uh, what, an accountant pitch me. And they're like, man, you're, you know, this, you're different. I'm like, I know I am. I already know she's going to say it. She's like, you didn't ask the price. I'm like, I'm not worried about the price. Just give me all the opportunity. Okay. Yeah. So, so you have to, you have to even be able to tell people this in your demo and in your pitch. Only reason they're fucking worried about the 500 because not, they're not worried about getting more. So in a way, I'm raising your awareness so that you can take this information and raise their awareness. Right. Okay, right, so right. here it is. I'm going to start wrapping it up. Okay, yeah, let's do this. You told me, you told me <clears throat> there was a guy that you demoed with and he liked it. He wanted to do it, but he said that his girlfriend would more than likely get upset with him because she wants him to invest in a different business. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Okay. With, I don't know the situation because I didn't ask about it. But if you had to, you know, guess, bet money, do you think his girlfriend is either a successful entrepreneur or a successful business leader or a successful um, executive that runs a company? Would you, do you uh, think that well, his girlfriend is well, that? Very unlikely. Very unlikely. Okay. The truth is we don't know, but it is very unlikely, right? So here's what I'm trying to tell you now. Out of everything I just gave you, this is how you apply it. Hey, man, I want to do this, but, you know, my girlfriend's going to get upset. You know, like she's going to get pissed off because I, I don't think she want me to invest in my, my business, in my, my fitness business. She, that's just not going to be good. So for me, I would crack them. That's me. But I'm not recommending that for you. Right. Okay. Right now. Okay. You want okay. to, this, crush his limiting beliefs, and you want to replace it with truth. That's what I'm trying to tell you. That's the big thing here. Okay. What's the limiting belief? That his girlfriend is giving him the right information, that he shouldn't invest into his business to grow it. Here's the play. Hey, man, let, let me ask you a question. Uh, just curious. So you have to have a good approach. Just curious. Your, your girlfriend, you know, she cares about you and all that stuff. She wants to make sure you make the right decisions, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Get in agreement. So your girlfriend, um, let me ask you this. Is she, like, is she 
a successful entrepreneur or I'm just curious, is she like a, a, an executive that's running a business? Oh no, she, no, no, she's just really concerned. Oh, I gotcha, man. I gotcha. Okay. So only reason I say this and, and listen, you know, let me apologize in advance. I, I don't want to offend you. I'm not saying your girlfriend's wrong, but what I am saying is this, like when you take information from people, okay, you want to make, you want to be very careful who you take information off of because you know, that information could really dictate how you, how you move and how you operate. Remember that, Dan, what I told you, people are like computers, how they right, operate. Right. They're literally like computers. Money doesn't grow on trees. Mike, what, what's up? Dude, there's no limitation in this world. That's how I'm operating. So you would go like this. Okay, cool. So, you know, for example, you gotta be careful. You, you know, you, you take information from, if I want to learn basketball and you know how to be a good basketball player, I want to take advice from like Michael Jordan. If I want to learn how to be a great sim swimmer, I probably don't want to ask Michael Jordan. I might want to ask Michael Phelps. So you want to make sure if you're taking information from, you know, like her, she is, you know, like the right person to take information from as far as growing a business. So, but hear me out. And like I said, like I said, don't be offensive. Don't be offended, please. That's not what I'm trying to do here. The information that I have that I use, that I operate off of in my business is literally people in the fitness space, just like you, that are making upward towards a million dollars, six hundred, six hundred thousand dollars in a month. Okay, um, one of my coaches, one of my mentors, his name is Mike Barron. He owns a fitness uh, studio. He owns a marketing agency. He's one of the biggest in the in the states, and he also has a consulting business. And one of his business, man, where he coaches uh, fit pros, they make like six hundred thousand dollars, soon to be a million dollars in a month. So the, the information well, in that gym. I have, well, right, your gym. So, no, in, 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 actually in the agency. Okay. Yeah. yeah. The agency, but listen, yeah. the information, the information that I have is coming from like the top people in the fitness industry that are growing and scaling fitness businesses. So that's the information I use. That's the information I operate off of. And that's the information you're going to get when you partner with me. So listen to your girlfriend. I don't want her to get upset. But what I am telling you is like, you told me you want to make six figures. It's going to be very hard to make six figures if you're, you know, trying to hold on to a thousand dollar deposit. It just, it doesn't work like that, man. Okay. And these are things that I had to find out the hard way. You know, I have a mentor. Guess what I committed to? $30,000. Why? Because I had to go get the right information. And, and my parents, my family, they love me. They care about me. But, you know, like they told me not to do it. And, and my parents are good. They're great, but they're not really making $600,000 in a month. So you have to go get the right information. I'm not saying don't listen to your girlfriend. Don't listen to your parents. I'm not saying that, but if you want to learn basketball, do it for Michael Jordan. If you want to learn how to grow and scale your business, do it for me. Cause this is the information that I have and this is where it's coming from. So let me ask you this. And then you go back in, but you have to say with absolute certainty and truth because Dan, all this is true. All this is real. People operate off of bullshit, bro. And they wonder why they're not fucking winning. Okay. Right now, do you have any questions? Um, yeah, I have a question. When you said, uh, because he's, he's basically um, pivoting towards another business and you, uh, you told me about a certain, certain questions to see um, if he's still yeah. passionate about fitness. What were those questions? How would you handle that? Say that he's pivoting. Okay, so your so right now your guy says he's going to pivot towards an other business. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah. But you didn't get full understanding on why he's pivoting to another business. Exactly. Yeah, I right? didn't get that. No. Okay, so it's already broken. So you have to get understanding because right right now, if you approach it as an amateur. You're gonna be like, oh man, dude, let's go, let's get your fitness fitness business going. Let's come on, let's let's just do it. That's your agenda, and you're not in agreement. That is not like you're you're, you're making it up. There's no substance, so you have to get understanding, affinity, reality, and communication equals understanding. So this is how you get it. This is how you get it. First off, you need to find out why he wants to start the other business and why he's abandoning the fitness business. Okay. There's one thing I know about the fitness business. Can you hear me? Yeah. The one thing I know about the fitness business is that these are people 
that are incredibly passionate about the gym or fitness. They're so passionate about it, they made it a career. Think about this. You're actually, your job is to help people get fit. Or your job is to own a gym. Like, and you work out, but, you know, you know, most people don't own a gym. They don't. That's just obsessive in a way. Another thing is this. A lot of those people had some, some sort of transformation themselves. A lot of people, okay, they were overweight. They lost weight. They got confidence. They want to do this for the rest of the world. That's another thing, okay? Yeah. The third thing is – the third thing about this whole th- thing is um, they, are, they were like former athletes. A lot of these people were like college D1 players or basketball players. You know, they're just like athletes, okay? So you have to know that. That's one. So now I'm asking, I'm, I'm looking to get understanding. I'm saying, hey, man, let me ask you a question. So you're, you're going to put the fitness business on pause, you're kind of saying, and you're going to start this new business. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. And then with the fitness business, you're, you're getting away with it. Is it because, like, um, it wasn't, like, so lucrative? Or was it because you, weren't, you lost your passion about it? And before we answer this question, if I could show you a fitness – I, I'm not saying I'm going to do this, but if you, if your fitness business was producing, you know, a uh, hundred thousand dollars a month where you can actually train people and get results for people and you can get a paycheck a thousand dollars a month, would you still stop the fitness business and go do the other business? hundred thousand dollars a month? No, nah, man. Okay. So what, what I'm getting at is, are you still like, you're passionate about this, right? Yeah, exactly. Okay. So you actually like training and you're, you're working out and you like getting those transformations. Oh, absolutely. Okay, cool. So it sounds like you just kind of had a couple losses and it had a couple challenges and you're just like looking to do something like that's a little bit better, like a little bit smarter. Is that right? Yeah, that's exactly right. Do you see my level of agreement? Yeah, that's really high fucking ass. Awesome. Yeah. Very fucking high level. I even say this. So you're looking to do something better, right? Most people wouldn't say that because they're going to be, they're going to say, oh my gosh, you're, you're, you're agreeing that he has something better. No, I'm getting an agreement. You get it? Right, yeah, yeah, that's very good. That's very good. Okay, so this is high level shit. High level shit. Right. I'm getting in deep agreement. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. the next thing is this. The next thing is this. So we know, Dan, for a fact, I mean, fuck, dude, it's like 99% chance that he's only quitting and giving up because he succumbed. He gave up. He's not, he's not printing money. And we also know if he had a, a, a gym that was paying him just ridiculous amounts of money, he wouldn't quit that because more than likely he was passionate about health and fitness. Would you agree with that? Yeah, I would agree, yeah. But we don't know, so you have to get agreement throughout. Hey, you passionate about this? Yes. Hey, man, if, I, if you had a, you know, a, a, a gym or a training business that paid you a quarter million, I mean, would you still you know, quit on that? No, absolutely not. So you have to get agreement on that. And then you got to get agreement again. So, but that didn't happen. So you wanted to do something that was smarter that can actually put more money in your pocket, right? No, that's exactly right. You okay? Cool, man. I get it. I get it. You kind of see what I'm saying so far? Right. That's really good. Yeah. That's deep agreement. Yeah. It's but but also you have to know not. It's not a gimmick. It's not a trick. It's not fucking trick. It's it's truth. And 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 basically, what I'm looking to do right now is raise your awareness on this on this piece. Okay, winning is going towards survival. Losing is going towards death. Okay, it's just the truth. Go see a guy that's fucking losing in life, and you're going to see that his fucking eyes look a little caved in. You're going to see that they're completely introverted. You're going to see that they're pretty fucked. Okay, and the truth is that when we – let me give you the club scenario. We got a guy. He goes out to the nightclub. He goes out to the nightclub. And once he goes out to the nightclub, he asks a, a girl to dance with him. She says yes. And he's like happy. 30 minutes later, he asks another girl to go to a dance. And she says yes. He's like, holy shit, this is, this is popping, man. I love this. He does again, and it happens again. Two more times, he starts getting phone numbers. Okay, it's almost midnight, and he goes back to his boys. He's like, bro, he feels like fucking Superman. That's what I'm saying. Okay, you got that? Yeah, I got that. You know what that is when you keep closing deals and you, you know, you, maybe you're a single guy. You ask some, you know, out girls out for a date. They're cool girls. You, you're winning. You're, you're, it's survival. Yeah. So exactly. survival, yeah. That's now true. let's go the opposite way. Same guy goes out next weekend, goes to the nightclub. 
And he asks the girl out. She says, no, rejected. Puts the hand up, talked to the hand. Does it again, rejected. Does it again. After a while, he's going to succumb. He's going to introvert. He's going to quit. He's not going to go out no more. Man, this place sucks. He's going he's to make excuses. Mm-hmm. Why? Because it's painful. People don't want to go towards death. People don't want to go towards fear. This is why people don't even ask for, you know, to go on a date with a pretty girl in the first place, a guy, because there's something in their past that happened. They don't want to face that damn fear. Okay. That's what's holding fucking damn near most people back in the world. Jay-Z's level of fear or his level of limiting beliefs is like much better than mine. And I hate to fucking even talk like that, but I need to get there and even more. Okay. I can tell you that Mark Cuban is fears, you know, is even lower than Jay-Z's because those people are free. You're not bound to a fucking fear. All right. You know, Grant, he says what he wants, does what he wants, but he, he, he's not shit compared to Elon Musk. So check this out. I'm giving you the data on this. Your guy is quitting the damn fitness job because he's taking losses. He succumbed. He's quitting. He's quitting. He's giving up. He's trying to justify why it's right, which is start a new business. Okay, but all, all that's happened is he's like the guy at the nightclub, took a loss, took a loss, took a loss. I'm done. That's all that's happening. If his fitness business paid him $100,000 every month, he would never quit. You follow what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's true. So the way you do this, the way you actually – Get people out of this. I'm, I'm telling you, bro. See, see, I have information from fucking people literally doing hundreds of millions of dollars. That's why yeah. I can spit with certainty on this, on the, on these topics. Right, right. Check this out now. The way you do this is you massage their purpose. You massage their purpose, and what that means is we all have a purpose to go to the gym, lose weight. To be a, you know, what's your purpose? Why are you doing this? So when he started a business to be a fit pro, there was some sort of purpose. Change the world, get people healthy and fit, get them on the same thing that I had. I'm an athlete. I want people to kind of, you know, experience some of that, even general consumers. That's my purpose. Right now, my purpose working with you is to help you fucking become successful because I care. I have a business that pays me a lot of money, but I care about fucking people and I want to go spread more good. That's real shit. I have it written down. So for him, you have to massage, like massage the shoulder and get back to the purpose. And you go like this. Hey man, let me see a question, bro. What, why did you get into the fitness space? Yeah. That's yeah. such a good question. Yeah. How, yeah and, and why, and, and what, and you know, when you got your first client, dude, how did it make you feel? perfect and then i would imagine you got some sort of results after you figure this thing out right yeah how that make you feel man man listen i'm i'm trying to bring that guy back man and i don't think you want to become you know like i don't think you want to open up a restaurant i don't think you truly want to actually start like doing uber i don't think you really want to become a photographer i think you're passionate about health and fitness but i really think that you didn't quite get the wins you want and what I want to do is pull that, I want to pull that passion, that purpose back out in the health and fitness and get you some wins so you can do what you love, do what you're good at, and make you, help you make a great living out of this. And that's what I'm offering. And I'm telling you, let's lock arms right now. Put your trust in me. I'm going to put your trust in you. I know money's tight. Put down $500. I'll build this thing out. One week from today, this thing's going to blow up. Let's lock arms. Let's jump off this damn cliff and let's fly. And you fucking fly. Why do you think I'm able to spit this shit so good and so easy? Because I've done this hundreds of times, but I don't lie. That's why my shit's so good. Because I, I make these big ass claims. I come from a position of truth. I don't lie. And then I deliver. And that's why I'm different than all these fucking guys. Okay? So right now, the reason why you feel so good is because I'm raising your awareness. So you have to get to the point when you're not pitching, 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 fucking trying to trying to twist their damn arm, and where you're in deep agreement, you're raising, you're crushing limiting beliefs, you're raising their awareness, okay, and you're getting rid of their bullshit and put, and putting in fucking truth. 
And that's when they know they're like, fuck, this guy's different. It is totally different. Okay. Yeah. This was a real ass conversation, man. Very deep, but I know you're getting it. I know you're duplicating what, what it is. This is going to sound nuts. A lot of people I feel that they're, they're trapped in a damn box, like a matrix, limiting beliefs. You're just a damn little fucking piece of bacteria and you're just stuck. Go to the store, go to the damn store and you look at people's faces sometimes. They look like a zombie. Can't even say hello to you. They're not there. They're not here in present time, bro. They're, 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 you're, they're I can't do that. I can't be successful. You know, go home and watch TV all damn day. Don't help nobody. Don't, cre- you know, and whatever. That's their choice. Me, I want to go fucking influence mankind and even more. That's where I'm at. But I'm out the box. I'm out the fucking matrix. I know that if I jump off the cliff, I could fly. So right now, the reason why you feel you're going to watch this recording, but the reason why you're like, whoa, it's powerful the same way I feel is because I help raise your awareness right now. So the question is, can you take this information and duplicate it into your demos and into your practice? That's the question. And the answer is yes. How quick could you do it though? Could it, it's going to take a year or it's going to take right now. That's, yes. that's one thing. Yeah. The reason why I feel good about this is because it's called cause over case, which means I'm at cause. I'm helping you out with your development. Okay. I'm going to have to post this shit up on YouTube, bro. People don't, the people don't have this kind of information, bro. You know? But anyways, um, that's what that's what it is. You want to the way you help somebody is you raise their awareness. That's why the fucking people keep coming back to the masterminds. That's why people want to work with you because you're not just you're you're the fucking source of information.